La farmacia, la farmacia. Allá vamos, allá vamos, allá vamos. We've been tear gassed. People sick. Old people. This is just unbelievable. This was a 100% peaceful march. Now there are people who have can't breathe because of the tear gas and the military, as you can see, threatening all over there. More tear gas going off, very hard to breathe. People suffering, older people suffering, can't breathe. Look, children. In there? Oh. People sickened by all this gas. Ty, can you explain what just happened? Well, we, we started to go up to our place to get... No, the peaceful march. Oh, the peaceful march was... It was massive. It was no... It was bigger than it was before, but it was very peaceful. They were bringing the coffins. They wanted to take them to a certain place to show them that these... these Indeed, there are people dying here in Bolivia because the news media refuses to say that people are dying of gunshot wounds in the back. I saw two people dead myself with gunshot wounds in the back. These people weren't even actually at the protest. They were there working, doing other things. They, While the peaceful protest was going on, the, for some reason, the, the government got on top of these buildings, one on top of our hotel, and shot tear gas into the crowd. A crowd of a lot of elderly women. Elderly women, elderly men, and people that are just not able to run away. We were we were shoulder to shoulder in this march, and suddenly we were we were people were running and people were falling on the ground. There's one here person are, look that's at these. passing these are out. The, the people who do the shoot into the air. That's all tear gas that they have. They've been going up and down the street, shooting tear gas. People running out here. <laughs> They took refuge in here. They're still shooting tear gas. Look at these people. Come out here with you. I will. Before the, the smoke is gone, look. They're still shooting tear gas down there. Tear gas down here. And people here. have left that area. This was a peaceful night. That's in front of the, the Cathedral of San Francisco. A, a mark of peace in a, in a city called La Paz. This, this military, this fascist government, these police, are out of control. Totally out of control. And here you see, right in front of us, only one part of the police here. Armed, shooting tear gas and at peaceful at least... protesters and at the caskets of people that was murdered by them and two days ago. They are at least four blocks, probably five blocks, from any municipal building, and there's blockades all along the way. Right, people could not get even close to the municipal buildings. There was no reason they were walking peacefully up and down this main square here when they were attacked by the police and the military with tear gas, very brutal tear, tear gas. We saw women on the ground that couldn't breathe. I'm sure there will be more deaths from this. I mean, people Look, are not used right to here. this. Yeah. Right There's a tear hotel. gas can canister right here. They're all over the place. They're strewn about. This is the military. See the tear gas coming from that big gun. This is the democracy that you are seeing in Bolivia today when thousands of peaceful protesters are attacked in the police by military. I know for sure there was a lady here who was selling ice cream and she had to run very fast and people were dropping their ice creams right here, minding their own business. She gets tear gas for selling ice cream on the street. Well, just like people got murdered two days ago when they were selling things on the street and just got hit yeah, by so stray that, bullets. That's not a fantasy. These are truths. You can see the street lined with police all in there, all over the place. They've turned against their own people from one day to the next. 
13 years living under a government where these kind of things didn't happen. And then all of a sudden, and I, these I police. Also, I saw on one of these police that are riding on the motorcycle, they got a sign on them saying Delta. Like they're, they're trying to Im mimic the United States and its Delta Force that kills and murders without, with impunity, really. This is another well, case. They definitely have impunity because the new president has signed a decree saying that the military has impunity, giving them a green light to do exactly this and what we saw two days ago in Sankata, where they just murdered people. So look, lines and lines of military all over. And that tear gas is really strong. It makes you feel blinded, nauseous, and they are just shooting it into the crowds of people. And if you saw the video that we were filming beforehand, it was a lot of elderly people, mostly all indigenous people. And here they are carrying out orders against their own people. And the people are calling on them to mutiny. And I think the more that they're being asked to do this, yeah. He's got it right there in his hand. The more they're being asked to go against their own people, hopefully more of them will say no. Tear gas, and we know that blue one is coming from the United States. So this is the democratic Bolivia. Anybody who doesn't call this coup doesn't know what they're talking about hasn't been down here seeing what's happening here. There's a big tank. Yeah, a big tank in the street. Let's walk over there. Tanks in the streets of La Paz, which means the peace, attacking indigenous people who have come from the high town of El Alto. Look, there's a guy behind two, there, there are two 50 caliber guns right in there. And this guy's sitting behind it like he's gonna shoot at a, a, multitudes of nonviolent, peaceful protesters with no, never have done any demonstration of violence. They, I've never seen a gun of rock throwing anything. So here you have it. Democracy in Bolivia brought to you by this coup.